Hi and welcome, it's Peg, and today on Art Joy Sharing Live Show, Chelsea and I were playing with alcohol inks and ATCs because, you know, we're still doing our month-long challenge for ATC a day. That's hashtag ATCAD2020. So um, I'm just getting out some alcohol inks and I'm playing on some UFO. Um, this is before the show actually began. We typically sit in the green room and talk to each other a little bit before the show starts and, you know, just do a little warm up starting to play. Uh, I had a little bit more ink out there than I wanted. So soaking some up, drying it down a little bit before I come in with some other colors. a lot of fun just to mush colors around on paper and see what you get. Cool thing about alcohol ink is it doesn't blend uh, so you don't get mud. You get these bright vibrant colors and I had created a whole bunch of backgrounds using stencils last week and I'll try to remember to you know give you the link in the end of all of those other videos but, you know, sometimes I forget, I'm sorry. So we're talking about um, different types of alcohol ink, different types of blenders and, uh, you know, all the stuff that goes along with alcohol ink. But UPO is, you know, varies. And what I like to use is this uh, extra heavy UPO. Um, this UPO is uh, called NARA, I think. And I'll try to remember, well, okay, I do have it listed in my Amazon store. So if you go out and look at the alcohol ink stuff on my Amazon store, you're going to see those things. But today we were being inspired by the mood board, which is this uh, image that is here. And you can see the blue water and the yellow and pink. And so I have some... Uh, product that had been sent to me and I decided that I didn't have a blue color so I was just going to mix some with some alcohol ink and create a blue. This is a paste type of material that's got shimmer in it and so I'm using one of those ATC stencils from Stencil Girl and you can see that I'm getting the effect I want uh, with that texture and so I'm just going to use up the rest of that paste you know, we don't want it to go to waste. So putting that out on some tissue paper and I'll set that aside to dry because it will become collage fodder for something at a later date. So now I'm looking at um, this particular alcohol ink background and I'm thinking, what am I gonna make? And I've got this piece that had soaked up some alcohol ink and I'm just punching out an oval um, and I'm thinking I want to use that on that blue piece that I had created. So, but I want it to stand out a little bit more. So I'm just going to get a piece of white card, cut it down to make a rectangle and uh, mount that oval on top. And then I decide, well, that's a little bit too much white. So I have these impression obsession uh, dies and I'm looking at the colorful uh, die cuts that I have in these cocktails, <laughs> little cocktail glasses, and I'm thinking, well, that's perfect, you know. Think about those fruity cocktails that you get. So I'm going to use some of those on this little card, and I'm cutting down that paper, and I'll end up gluing everything down and uh, creating something fun.
So that was kind of fun. Um, I'm working on the second ATC. This was kind of uh, brought on because I was thinking about my big shopping bird. I've got this metal lawn sculpture bird that sits in my studio, and he just makes me laugh. And that's why I have him down here because, you know, you got to have things around you that make you smile, make you, you know, have a cheerier disposition, especially these days. So um, I make my little bird to go on my card here, and then I'm going to put a quote on. These are those uh, little chat things from Tim Holtz. And I'll take my pen and, you know, do a border and. You know, I'm just filling time, filling up this little ATC. We do an hour and a half show each week, and these are just really small projects. So I was kind of feeling like I had extra time to play around. And then I decided I didn't like the way the chair stamping had turned out. So I decided to redo that and make a little flag to go on the card. And uh, yeah finishing things up. I did do some more work with uh, alcohol and I'll show you some of the pieces that I had created. I'd worked on some, um, it was it was just a piece of plastic and it wasn't clear, it was kind of smoky, but I'd taken some ink and uh, altered it. And then I had some other um, ATC backgrounds that I'd created with alcohol ink last week. So Anyway, I hope you enjoy this. I hope you come back and visit my channel again. If you like this content, please like, share, subscribe. Uh, click the bell for notifications. It lets uh, YouTube know that this content is of value to you. And um, I thank you for your kind comments, for your support, and I will see you again next time.